Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to get custom color swatches to use inside of Photoshop Elements. Let me just first reset our colors over here to the default black and front, white and back. That's our little color picker right here. And then let's bring down the color swatches. That's window, color swatches right there. And it brings up this little dialog box in here. Now, to make this as useful as possible, the first thing we want to do is we want to change the setting over here. Normally it's set to small thumbnail like that, and it works out well if you just want to pick a color visually and just use that in whatever it is that you're doing, but you may want to have a much better layout, especially if you are importing color swatch sets from other companies. So let's set this over here and come down to large list right there. This gives you a nice large thumbnail left-hand side and the name of the color over here on the right-hand side. So that's the best way to use this. And then you can just scroll down the list and you see your color there on the left-hand side. And there are a few built-in color sets in here. Mac OS, Photo Filter Colors, Web Hues, Web Safe Colors, Web Spectrum, Windows. Notice that these are all basically web-related colors and they're all fairly basic. You know, the Web Spectrum is not that much in here. Photo Filters. You know, so there's not that much. Here's our default setting. But a lot of companies do have downloadable swatch sets that match their color schemes. This is especially true of paint companies. Let me bring up a website here and I'll show you a couple of examples for that. But before I do, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, and click on subscribe. All those things help me keep this channel going. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up the web browser. Here we go, here is the Dunn Edwards paint. And in here, you can download swatches that match their paint colors for Photoshop. And then here's also one for Sherman Williams. Same thing, you can download that here. Let's go ahead and take a look at how both of those are done. And I'll put these links inside of the description. So you can just go ahead and click on those links and get right to these pages without having to hunt for these. So just use those links in the description. Okay, here, you want to go for the one here that says CS2 and later, this is the modern format, that's what we'll be using. Click on view details, and in here, again, right there where it says Adobe Photoshop with a PS logo, CS2 and later, click on download, and you can then download that color swatch set. I've already done this here. What I did was I just made a new folder on my computer, I named it color, it's right on my C drive right there. You need to color it, and that just downloaded that right into that folder location. Okay, let's do the exact same thing now for Sherman Williams. And this time, come down here to Downloadable Color Palettes. Click on that. And then in here, there's some info up here, which is really nice. There's some JPEG things. Again, you want the one down here that has the Photoshop logo right there. And I like having the order set up by color name. Now, there are two in here. They have two sets, the Emerald Designer set and the Color Snap set. So you probably want to get both of those. So I'll click on Order by Name. Now, you're not ordering or buying anything. This is the sequence that the color is organized in. So we'll do it by color name. There we go. Notice that it goes into the same location here, the same folder we just used. Choose on save, that's fine. And then I'll do it down here for order by color name for the color snap as well. Same thing, and choose save. And there we go, so those are both now downloaded. Okay, now let's take a look at that folder. I'll bring that folder up, there we go. And notice we have three now, the two that we just did from Sherman Williams, that's that SW right there. And also the one that we did from the Dunn Edwards right here. Now this is an ACO file and this is an ASE file. This is a regular swatch file. And then the ASE, this is a swatch exchange file. They do the exact same thing. It's just approaching it a little bit differently. Let's go ahead now and load these into Photoshop Elements. Okay, we're back here. So go up here where it has the little icon right there. Click on that again. And you want to come down to replace swatches. We don't want to have any of this stuff in here. So replace swatches and then navigate to the swatch that you want. Now by default it's going to say swatches down here and ACO, so we'll do that one first. There we go. And choose load, and it loads in that swatch set right there. Now you may need to navigate to your folder when you do this. If you're not in the right folder, just navigate to your folder and then open up that swatch set. And here we go, here is that swatch set from Dunn Edwards, there's the names, and here's all the colors left hand side, and simply scroll down like this to find whatever the color is that you want. Notice up here, here's the name of the swatch set. If I click on that arrow, I have my little drop down list, and that's down at the bottom of the list right there. There's our other swatches, and there is that new swatch set right there. If you go back to default, it may not change. If it doesn't do that, click anything in here, and then back to default, and that'll set it back to your default colors. Okay, let's now go back here, come down again, we want to replace swatches once again. This time, change the drop down here to the swatch exchange ASE, and there are the other two swatch sets. Same trick, click on one of those swatch sets, click on load, and it loads in that swatch set just like before. And again, it comes in here at the bottom of your list. 
Now you'll need to reload these sets, but that's easy enough just come down here and use your load swatch sets. You can also find other swatch sets from other companies and just do a search online if you want to for Photoshop swatch sets. You can find a lot of other swatch sets that can be imported in exactly the same way. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. Help this channel keep on going. Take a look at my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos and I'll see you next time.